G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do another blob painting. I'm really enjoying doing blob paintings. Um, I've still got two over there that I'm, um, well one of them just started yesterday, so blobs are still wet, and the other one underneath the table, it's got three layers on it, but it's still dry, it's still drying, so it takes a long time before I can show you anything. So while those are drying, I want to get started on just a black and white. I'm not sure if that's going to sag in the middle. I might put something underneath it. So my canvas, I've put in these little timber pieces that come with the canvas. You just hammer those in. Uh, I put my big push pins in. And I think I will get just some puppy pedal pad to go under there just to support it. Um, actually, I won't do it now because um, I'm just going to coat. I'm just going to coat the back. I coat the actual canvas with some black. But, I mean, when you press on that, it does give a little bit. So I'll put some puppy pedal pad underneath it. Now, my black background is just the 60% glue, 40% water that I use for pretty much everything else that I do, my flip cups, but it's really, really thin. It's four parts pouring medium to one part paint. And I've just used the Mart. I won't put all of it out. I did 80 grams of pouring medium and 20 grams of paint. It's got a little sponge here. I don't want to make it too thick because I do want to get my first layer on today might even be a bit too much paint in there you know I just find that the sponge gives you um, like a better even coating so not too thick rather than using a brush I've got all that paint in there I'm gonna to to get some of that out now it's way too much whereas if I was using a brush I'd probably pour most of it out and then try and brush it around I think the brush soaks up a lot of paint though doesn't it I can do, I've got another, enough paint here to do another one. All right, I can always pour some more out if I need to. All right, let's just move this paint around. I know you don't necessarily have to see me painting a canvas black, but some people like to see the entire journey, so to speak, of how a painting's created. And uh, now that a lot of us are staying home, self-isolating or quarantining, now we've got a bit of extra time to spend watching videos. So I'll show you all the little bits and pieces. Now I'm just going to do the sides here. I may have to just dip into that. So I make sure that my little sponge actually fits in there because then I can easily just pick up enough paint to do my sides. I'm just hanging on to the um, push pin under here so that it doesn't slide away and that is pretty much all we need to do I go from the bottom up just push the paint up like that and then across the side same with this one probably got enough paint on there still as I said I don't want to make it too thick because I want to be able to put my first layer on today. When I do the bigger ones, the bigger canvases, I used, well, I did the brush. And I found that I had a lot of paint on there. Like I couldn't get it all off. So I'm just going to be using these foam brushes in future. Because I can just get a really thin layer. Now what I'll do is, my, my daughter Christy's here because it's Sunday. We're going to go and watch a movie. And then I'll probably get my hair dryer and I'll just make sure that's totally dry so I can put my first layer on. And I've got plenty of paint there to do another one. So this is going to be a black and white blob painting. So um, I'll see you for the next stage when it's dry. So we went and watched a movie and it's only been a couple of hours and look, it's dry already. So good having the um, using the sponge. It just dries so much better than the paintbrush. Now I've just put a, a bigger plastic cup over that. I've got my sponge in there. 
I've got my stir stick in there. I'll just cover them over and leave them like that, nicely sealed until I need them again later. Now this canvas is a square, it's 40 centimetre by 40 centimetre or 16 inch by 16 inch. So that's it there. And um, what else am I going to show you? Oh, I've got some black and some white made up. I've got a little bit of extra white sitting in this cup here with a damp cloth over it, just keeping it from drying out because I'm going to need more than just one. Uh, I'll probably need two or three actually to do this size. So we'll see. And then I'll have to wait a few days, probably four days, because they really it's a really, really thick mix that I've, I've made. Um, I'm still testing my recipe out because I haven't had anything that I can put a second layer on yet because it's only been um, two days now since I've started using this new recipe. So I can't tell yet if it's going to work. So I'm not going to talk about it just yet. We'll wait and see if it works, hey? Now I'm going to get you down a bit lower so you can look at a side-on kind of a picture. Uh, I think that'll be nice. Alrighty, so how's that angle? I thought that might be nice just for a change. Uh, we have white and we have black. Let's make sure that's focused again. Wait for it to be out of focus. Now, I'm probably going to need two of these bottles of white. I have got some more made up in a cup over there so um, because it's only a little canvas um, 16 inch square or 40 centimeter square I don't want the blobs to be too too big so it should leave like a tiny little nipple like that I call it <laughs> um, but it should disappear if it still stays up quite high like when you're whipping meringue and you get that stiff peak then it's too thick so that should that'll hopefully disappear when the blob kind of flattens out a little bit we'll push this one over the side a bit so yeah want some big ones and some smaller ones make sure that your tip is inside the paint Otherwise, it'll do what I just did then and uh, get a whole heap of bubbles in it. So try to keep it submerged. If you do find a bubble, just poke it with a, a skewer. I find that that's better than um, torching it because the torching, because this is so thick, the torch doesn't actually do a lot to it. Um, it just gives it like a skin over the top and you really don't want that. So make sure that it's submerged and also keep an inch between if you can because they will spread a little bit so make sure that you've got roughly an inch between them otherwise they may join up and you might not want them to do that make that one a little bit bigger so it drips over the edge there So I have a few bigger ones, but basically they're not going to be too big because it's not a very big canvas. And you can drop over. So this is just going to be black and white for this one. I think that'll look nice. Now, if your bottle's getting a little bit empty, rather stop and refill it rather than risking letting air out because you'll get air into your um, blob and you don't want that. So, I can feel that it's almost empty. It's probably about that much left in the bottom. So, this is where I need to refill it. Otherwise, I will get air in my blobs. So it's much better to prevent the air from going in there than it is to try and get rid of the air afterwards. Prevention. What's the saying go? <laughs> I can't remember. Prevention is something. Whoa, oh no, I just spilled. I'm going to have to wipe that off. I'm only doing this here so you can see what I'm doing. 
I will have to wipe that little bit off that I just dropped on my canvas. Oh dear. So afterwards, you know, you can, if you wanted to, I guess, go around and put some smaller white ones in between. Depends on the look that you're going for. I see some that, you know, some blob paintings and they're so busy. It's just not my thing. I prefer to see some of the background, some negative space. Let me see if I can get that off. I'm gonna take my black paint with me, aren't I? Because I've only just done this paint. I'm gonna have to touch up the black paint. Well, there you go, lesson learned. Don't fill your bottles next to your canvas. I'll just have to touch that up. I've still got the black here. Still got my little sponge there, so I'll just get most of that off and then I can just do that very carefully. Might as well do it now. I'll take that right across. I don't think you'll see it once it's had a chance to, to dry. I don't think you will even notice. It'll just dry the same as the rest of it, but we'll get it done now so it's done and out of the way. Okay, let's keep going. So I will have to wait. Oh, I've got a blob painting under this table that um, I waited four days and it was still still wet. I touched the top and I got paint on my finger after four days. Now, if you see bubbles, especially on the outside, you will need to pop them. If they're on the top, it's not so important because you're going to have another layer on top. But if you've got some on the side like that, um, it is important to, to pop them and maybe try and smooth out your little dent if you can just for the side ones. That should smooth over with any luck. It should. I won't go poking it too much. It should smooth over. Righto, let's, let's keep going. Is that going to drip over? I don't want to put too much on it because, you know, I want a little drip. Just a little drip. I'm just making sure that I've got an inch between or you know two or three centimeters between because they will spread out they will even if you think they won't they will just trying to make it look as if they've got like a big one and then a little one I don't know what to set my dogs off. <clears throat> There's a bubble there. Um, you're going to bark, are you, Izzy? Now, always, if you've had your bottle sitting up like this, always remember to turn it upside down and make sure that the nozzle is filled up with paint before you go again. Otherwise, you're going to get that spurt of air and uh, you'll get more bubbles. So that's another thing to be aware of. Hopefully I've got enough paint. run you over the edge I'll do a smaller one there and then a bigger one there and then I think that's gonna be about it well it'll just when I get to an inch that's that's it that's a little bit close there I hope that it doesn't spread too much whoops so now I'm pretty much out so I'm gonna be careful don't want it to get to that stage but I'm done yay Whoops, wrong end, Julie. Pop those little bubbles. See, I've only just made up this paint today, so ideally you would make up your paint the day before and let it sit. Look at all those bubbles. 
Yeah, make up the paint and, and let it sit. I'm in the, the light. All right, I'll stop there. I'll, I will go and pop bubbles in a minute. There we go. You can see the height on them. We'll wait and see if this recipe works before I tell you all about it. Otherwise, I'm telling you fibbies, aren't I? But uh, we'll see. We'll see if it works. Uh, the one that I did a couple of days ago, it's starting to get tiny little cracks on it. But it was sitting here on this table and um, in front of the window. And I think that the heat from the sun in the morning has maybe... Uh, contributed to, to it cracking because it's only a tiny little bit on the one side but I'll wait and see what it looks like tomorrow I don't know I don't know if it's you know too much water in there that makes it crack or it's just a, a change in temperature I'm going with the change in temperature because as I said it's sitting in front of the window that's how high they are all right I will see you in about four or five days for the next layer which will be black see you then hey guys now this is dry, dried beautifully. There's a few little areas there where I've stuck my finger in them over the last couple of days just to see if it's dry. But I'm going to cover that with another dot. Now these dots were the old recipe. Um, oh, where is it? Oh, hang on, let me grab it for you. So I don't even know if I've shown you or not. I can't remember because I did these a few days ago. There we go, that's it there. Now, is that focusing? Now, because it's got Floetrol in it, Oatrol is a different brand of Floetrol, it's from Europe. Um, <clears throat> Oatrol, Liquitex Pouring Medium, and GAC 800. So that was in my first of oh, few videos. Um, the problem with the Floetrol is because it's a paint um, conditioner, it actually slows the drying process. And when you're doing blob paintings, that's really not what you want. You know, you want your blobs to be dry in three days max, don't you? So that you can keep going. So <clears throat> when I did my first uh, couple of videos, the one with the girl blowing the dandelion and my... Um, pastel one they were all in that recipe so I've changed it up and I'm doing a different recipe I'm going to see how it works first before I tell you otherwise everyone will go and do it and it might not work and they go well Julie told me to do it so let's see how we go with it first and if it works then I can tell you all about it so it's nice and thick so this is my black and white pour you can see how thick it is <laughs> hopefully it's not too thick go 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 now I've only just made this paint up so if I've got any little bubbles the ones on the top don't really matter too much because they're going to be covered by another layer but if you see a bubble on the side just pop it and then where it's made a hole go over it with your stick okay so we've got black and white but I'm just going to do black on top I may do some smaller white ones in between I'll do a few and then I'll speed the video up hey because you don't need to watch me do them all I'm just hoping I'm not putting too much paint on because even though it's pretty thick it will still spread and this is just basically a little experiment to see how much it's going to spread so we shall see what happens in an hour if if it's spread a lot because I don't want it to cover my white do I but I'm being pretty confident here that it's not going to so I'm putting a lot on okay hopefully I'm not being over confident Right, I'm going to pop some bubbles um, and then I'll speed the rest up, okay?
Righto, I have finished with the black and I just thought maybe you'd like to see how they look side on. Now just remember, if you do see a bubble, make sure you pop it. And then if it leaves a little hole, cover the hole over. You can only do this though while your paint is still wet, so make sure you get them all. Don't torch, the paint's really thick. All you'll do is get a skin over the top. And I thought I'd add a few more little, just little white ones. So let's do that, just little ones. It's a bubble right there. Pop. I probably need to get another skewer, don't I? Because this one's got black on it. And then just where it's made a hole, just cover it over. See, I only just made up this paint this morning because I, I checked the blobs and they were dry and I thought, yay! And I thought, oh, I don't have any paint. <laughs> so try and make your paint a day, at least a day before. It just won't have so many bubbles in it then, hey? Just filling in some of these gaps with smaller ones. Because there's a lot of black, isn't there? Hopefully that's the right decision. I wasn't going to, and then I thought, oh, I'll cover them up a little bit. Lots of bubbles. <clears throat> so this new white is my new recipe. And you can see how high it's sitting up. Those little marks should all go. If it leaves a little tip, that's okay. As long as it's gone in a you know, in a few minutes. Bit of a pain, all these bubbles, I must say. I'll make sure I've got enough paint. I'll make some more today, and then when this is dry, uh, this new recipe only takes three days to dry instead of six, so yay, that's a bonus. And we'll see how it dries, and then if it dries well in three days, then I can tell you all about the new recipe, hey? But there's just no point me telling you now, in case it doesn't work. How's that? Am I pretty much covered? Blob, blob, blob. It's hard to know when to stop. Whoops, there's a bubble. Pop. Cover it over. Alrighty. I think that's pretty good for now. If I decide I want to add more, I can later. So what do you think? It's fun to do. Show you a quick little close-up. Now those blacks haven't, cross fingers, haven't really spread which is fantastic. I was hoping they wouldn't. So the next layer is going to be white on top of the black. Now the little black, the little white ones that I just put down, they'll just have a tiny little blob of black on them and that'll be it, just the two layers. But the bigger ones, hopefully I might better get five layers um, the tiny ones, two, um, the medium size, maybe three or four. We'll just, we'll just see what happens. But so far, I'm loving the height on those. Hopefully this will work. Right, I'll see you in three days. Righto, guys. I'm back. Now, these are dried beautifully. If it has a little bit of a resistance in the middle, wait another day because it might drop down when you put another layer on and just give it a bit of a wipe over with a, a clean dry cloth just in case it's got any dust or hair or anything like that on it and uh, then we'll go again try and keep your paints upside down 
if you can. I don't actually have anything to put them in at the moment. I'm just going to lay them down. So I'm going to do my white blobs and I'm going to go and put a little bit of black on each of those little ones. So I'll do a few and then as usual I will speed the video up. Make sure you're holding it straight not like on an angle otherwise your blob's going to come towards you. So it's a bit hard for me to see if I'm straight but hope so and keep your nozzle embedded in the paint okay don't let it come out oops I've got a lot of bubbles on that one always have your skewer ready to pop bubbles uh, it's better than a torch don't use a blowtorch and then when you've made a little hole there where you've popped the bubble bubble just go over it and fill it in the paint will smooth over but yeah try and keep it up like that so that you don't get air in it that's the most important thing oh, and the other thing I've found I should put it under now just a folded up puppy piddle pad underneath that just stops it from sagging a little bit in the middle so if your blobs are kind of running towards the middle probably means that you need to prop up your canvas with something hey so make sure that the tip of your bottle is always under the paint otherwise it might leave more of a mound if you're lifting your uh, nozzle up and uh, also you might get more bubbles as well so try to do that all right now you don't want to watch me do the whole lot do you do you oh there's more bubbles maybe i should just go and then i can do bubble popping off camera hey let's do that let's go for it now make sure you're leaving enough space around your white it will spread a little bit or a lot depending on what pouring medium you're using but you just need to practice like I've done and find something that works I've done a lot of practice with different consistencies different pouring mediums try and see what works I'm not sure if there's a pouring medium out there that works or that people have put out so it's just a matter of practicing you know I think that's the fun of it I don't know why people are expected to do a lot of hard work and weeks and weeks and hundreds of dollars or whatever practicing and then someone just goes what's your recipe no please no asking nicely just what's your recipe like seriously you're not going to get anything from me if you talk to me like that I can tell you work it out yourself like I've done and it's the fun of it too you know working it out seeing what works for you because my paints are different to your paints my pouring medium is different to your pouring medium but just make sure you leave enough space for your paint to spread a little bit am I done have I done all the blacks yes I'm done all right, let's do the, the black, shake it out. Make sure that I've got no air bubbles in there. It's coming out. Right now, I'm just gonna do a little blob on these whites. And I don't think they'll have another layer. I think they're too small to have more than two layers. Because you, you just won't see them, you know, it'll just cover up your layer each time, so. These will have two, some, see that one there, that could go with another layer, that's not, these ones here, they're not too small, they could possibly have another layer, I'll have a think about it, but the bigger ones, for sure, they could have like another two layers, this means I have to wait another few days in between. This new pouring medium that I'm using, I only have to wait um, three days for the big, these big blobs 
three days they took, which is wonderful. My previous pouring medium, I have to wait six days. How's that looking? <laughs> I was just so eager to do just a black and white, hey? Love it. I don't know if I need any more blobs. I think I've got enough. You want to see some of your black background, hey? Now, I've done, I think all of mine, oh, except for my dandelion, have all been black. So my next one, I just have to sand my canvas, um, but my next one's going to be um, something a little bit different, different colours. Alrighty, let me just take you down and um, show you. So some of them have got some bubbles. I'll go straight down like this actually so that you can see what it looks like from up above. They're pretty centered. They haven't kind of wobbled off to the side. But yeah, I have to go and pop some bubbles after I've said goodbye to you for the day. And let's see if we can see the height on them. Look at that. I love looking at it like that. <laughs> so pretty. Not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. It's a size that goes nicely in a bathroom or in a, in a loo, the smallest room of the house. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it there and uh, I'll see you in a few days and uh, we'll do some black blobbing again. All right. See you soon. Right, so as you saw, that was the fourth layer on the bigger blobs. And then those little ones have only got three. That's all I can fit on there. I was debating whether or not to leave the tops black, but then the background's black. So looking down at it, 
um, you'd see a lot of black so that's why I decided to put white on top of those little black ones so looking good so far so I'll probably do another layer of white and hmm, oh those ones see those sort of middle sized ones I may just leave them like that and then do the bigger ones I'll do another blob of white on them and then see if I need another layer but I'm just going to go and pop some bubbles now and let it to dr let it dry and um, we'll see you for the next layer looking good so far I'm happy with it Alrighty, we are doing another layer. I'm going to go white. I'm actually thinking this may be my last layer. I'm actually a little bit disappointed I put these tiny little white blobs on. I should have just left them as black. So these ones here, I'm going to leave those, that size there. I'm going to leave them with black. I'm going to put some white on the bigger ones anyway and see what they look like because I don't know. If, like I don't want them all ending in, in white because when you look down on it, you'll just see too much white. So I'll put some white on these bigger ones. Um, and definitely I'm going to leave these as black. So let's go for it. Now I've got to be careful with the this layer because it's only a little blob and because the um, blobs underneath they curve like the blobs curve so you've got to be careful not to put your paint where it's starting to curve otherwise you know your white's going to run down so the, this is probably going to be the last the last layer I think yeah just got to be careful not to go too too much with this small layer oops getting bubbles that's okay, just cover them over. That'll level out. Now I'm trying to go straight. Oh, there's another bubble. I made this paint yesterday. It shouldn't be having bubbles in it. So many bubbles. I can get to them later. Those little tips there, they they should go. <clears throat> like it's a nice thick mix, but those tips should go. I'm going to push that paint right down because maybe give it a good shake. Well, not a shake, but really push it down because I'm getting so many bubbles. And I want the top layer to be nice and smooth and shiny. don't want to have... <clears throat> you know, ripples in it, so let's give it a, a shake down, see if that's any better. It is. Even though I had the bottle standing upside down, I may not have had all the air at the top, like up here. Are you guys enjoying these blobs? I think if, you know, it's a good time to start them now because we're sort of, most of us are in isolation. And I think if you do three, like start one today, one tomorrow, one the next day, these blobs with my new pouring medium, oh, I need to tell you about that, don't I? Uh, with the new pouring medium, they take about three days to dry, I found. It's, it is thick, um, but doesn't have any flow troll in it, so it does dry a little bit faster. So if you... Do three on the go, one today, one tomorrow, one next day. Then you've got something today, something to do each day. You know what I mean? So the one that you start today, you'll be able to put a layer on in three days, and then the one that you start tomorrow, you'll be able to put a layer on the day after. So it gives you something to do each day. I might leave that one. Hmm. Not sure if I want to leave that one. It's still quite quite small. 
as I said, I don't want to have everything covered in white. I need some white down here though. So that's black, that's black, that's black, 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 some black. Look, I may even come and put some black on the top of a couple of these white ones. But for the sake of the video, after today, I'm going to call this one Dunskies. Hey, how's that? Woohoo! I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I don't want to do any more. I'll just leave some of it black. I will have to just come and smooth out some of these. See, this blob's rolling down a little bit. Try and smooth that over. Still got a bubble in there. Okay, um, now I have done a video on showing you guys what my pouring medium is. But I'll just show you this little card anyway. That's it there. Are you going to focus? <laughs> there we go. <gasps> so, glue. I used Elmer's glue all, but any white craft glue will work. It's all PVA, thick white craft glue. Make sure you shake your glue all because it separates and you get this layer of water on top. So give it a good shake if it's been sitting. So one part glue, one and a half parts paint, quarter part GAC. So for these, I did 100 grams of, I'm just going to rest my hand on the tripod here <laughs> so it doesn't shake, 100 grams of glue. 150 grams of white paint, 25 grams of GAC. With the black paint, it was a little bit different. Um, I found that black paint in all different brands is really thick. Uh, so I only used 100 grams of paint, so equal amounts to glue to paint. You might find that some of your paints, maybe a dark brown, is going to be really thick as well. Um, other colours, you may have to increase the paint amount up to 180 grams um, just depends on if your paint's really thin or not so this is a guide but you do need to go over um, and just you know check the consistency you can go and have a look at my video about um, my paint recipe for blobs and uh, that'll show you the actual consistency right hope you all got a little snapshot of that and i hope you all enjoyed my blob painting I'm going to take you down and show you a close-up. And I am done. I have got another couple of blob paintings on the go. Um, but this one is ready to go. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. They they do look nice with a coat of, of resin. I guess you have to sort of stand it up on its edge so that you can run the resin down. And coat all your blobs or maybe you brush it on I'm, I'm not sure I'll have to research that a little bit more uh, maybe as it's sort of running down when you've got your canvas up on an angle as it runs down maybe you can just sort of brush the the resin over the, the higher blobs so there we go that was a lot of fun I'm really happy with that so guys get your blobbing on start one today start one tomorrow start one the next day and you'll have something to do every day for the next couple of weeks, hey? Because it will take that long. And you might as well start a project. It's not hard to do. And they're fun. All right. I'll see you real soon for the next pour. Have fun blobbing. All right. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Stay safe. Bye for now.